Hello everyone, welcome back to QA Testing Made Easy. Today we are diving into a very important topic in test automation, assertions. What are Cypress assertions? Assertions are validations that check whether a test is functioning as expected. They are essential for ensuring that our automated tests are reliable and accurate. Cypress includes the widely used Chai assertion library right out of the box. Hey, just to be sure, not this Chai, okay? If we need to verify some elements are displayed or not, verify page title, some text box, enter data in a text box, and so on. Basically, assertions are validation points. Understanding test validation. It is absolutely crucial to ensure that each test we write performs as expected. This is where validation comes into play. Think of it as the detective work of testing. The role of assertions. Now, meet our detective tools. Assertions. Assertions are the backbone of test automation. They serve as our validation checkpoints, giving us the green light or red flag when it comes to the test success. In essence, they are the judges in our testing courtroom, deciding whether our test has performed its duties properly. In other words, assertions compare the actual results of a test to the expected results. If the two match, the test passes. If they don't match, the test fails. Let's go to Cypress official website and look at their documentation for assertions. So here is the Cypress uh, documentation. You can find it on Cypress website. Here uh, they explain basically few things I have covered so far. Basically they borrowed it from Chai assertion library, right? And uh, they have a whole list of assertions, you know, what we can use, how to use. I'm not going to go over this. We can also use Chai jQuery assertions and sign on Chai assertions. So they also have some good examples here, like what to use. I suggest you to go over this. So now let's go over types of assertions. Cypress has two main types of assertions, implicit assertions and explicit assertions. Implicit assertions are automatically performed by Cypress and are used to check basic conditions such as whether a page has loaded successfully or whether an element is present on the page. We can say that these are built-in or default Cypress assertions. Here are some examples of Cypress implicit assertions. Dot click. When you use the dot click command to click on an element, Cypress implicitly checks if the element is visible and interactive before performing the click action. If the element is not visible or interactive, the click action will not be executed. So let me go back to my Visual Studio code. In our previous tutorial, we wrote some test. So example, we have this, this is dot click is a implicit assertion. The another example is dot type. Similarly, when you use the dot type command to type into an input field, let's say we have a text box and we need to input something, right? Cypress implicitly checks if the input field is visible and enabled before entering text. So here's another example of dot select. When using the dot select command to select options from a drop down, Cypress implicitly ensures that the drop down element exists and is visible before selecting an option. Another example is dot visit. We also used it in our test right here. When you use the dot visit command to navigate to a URL, Cypress implicitly checks if the page has loaded successfully. If the page fails to load, Cypress will automatically retry loading it for a certain period. And another example, the last one perhaps, uh, there are more, but the famous .get command, right? The .get command implicitly checks for the existence of elements that match the specified selector. If no matching elements are found, Cypress will wait and retry until they appear or the specific timeout is reached. So in our case, we have used it right here, right? Sci.get, then we provided the selector. So to recap, basically this implicit wait 
we don't have to handle anything right uh, for example when I use cy.visit then given the URL I did not write additional core or any other action another example is dot get here right same thing we did we have used and dot click so these are basically handled by Cypress we don't have to do anything so now let's look into explicit assertions right these assertions are explicitly defined by the user and used to check specific conditions for example you could use an explicit assertion to check that a certain element is not present on the page or that a certain text is not displayed on the page here are some examples of cypress implicit assertions element existent assertion these assertions checks if an element with a specific selector exists so for example here dot get and we are looking for a button right so here are more examples visibility assertions check if an element is visible so we can do dot should be dot visible so that checks if the element is visible or not we can also check text content assertion this assertion check if an element contains specific tags right here we are saying we are looking at the h1 tag right and we want to verify welcome to cypress this specific text or in our example what we did uh, basically we look for a title right so right here we can also use attribute value assertion this checks if an element has a specific attribute with the expected value we can also check CSS property assertion this checks if an element has a specific CSS property with the expected value so there are much more of these assertions and we will actually go over this we'll do hands-on as we uh, expand our test suite right but i wanted to give you a high level overview of what are assertions and they're really important assertions are important for several reasons they help us to catch errors and bugs early in the development process they provide a clear and concise way to report test results they help us to ensure that our tests are comprehensive i encourage you to learn more about assertions they are a powerful tool that can help you to write better tests and catch more bugs so that's it for this video don't forget to subscribe click on the like button hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when i upload new videos and that also helps me with youtube algorithm so i can create more videos like this thank you for watching happy learning